Sun is coming and just quickly show your feet. Right, there we go. See, that's how you can tell. <laughs> we knew there should be some, didn't we? Well, thanks very much, Peter, for bringing some advanced poses. Um, we're going to do a shoulder stand and we're going to do a back bend as well. So, to start off with, just take the, the feet forward, that's it, and just have the knees slightly bent. I'm just going to get the alignment to set us up to move into the back bend. So, if the lower back moves forward, can you see the, the length that you're already starting to create there? The shoulders can open. It's important to create length between the back of the head and the tailbone. This is the same in this position, but it obviously it's going to be exactly the same when, we, when we're inverted. The support, again, is coming from the front of the spine. Everything comes from the front of the spine and the, and the back is released. Let the lower back move forward. That's it. Bring the knees. Let the knees separate just a little bit. So before we even take the feet up, everything is coming from the foundation and the spine can start to lengthen there. That's it. Good. Great. Just bend the knees a little bit more. Let the back of the hips open out through here. There, that's it, good. Just bend, bring the knees a little bit closer towards your head. That's better. So towards each other, if they can. And then take the feet up. You can take one.